check it. Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Janelle Simona, and this is Scent Talk from My Closet, the fragrance closet, where we talk all things fragrance. And in today's video, we're doing a head-to-head -head wear test between the original Killian's Black Phantom and Genre Perfumes Noble Soul. If it is your first time on the channel, I like to focus on one perfume house or topic at a time, and we are focusing on genre perfumes. If this is something you're interested in, go ahead and continue watching. Consider hitting that subscription button and the bell so you'll be notified to new videos, because you never know which fragrance house or perfume topic we're going to cover next. All right, so let's get into this head-to-head -head wear test. If you're not familiar with genre, genre perfumes, I do have a video link in the description where it'll lead you to the first video that discusses how the house works, how you can order the fragrances, where you can find them. Um, they do have an Etsy shop, a website, and of course their ordering windows. So, Genre's Noble Soul here. I do have it in the 10 ml presentation. This is how you'll get your 10 mls. They do run, I believe, three of these for, if you order three 10 mls, uh, they'll be $25. So that's very affordable, especially if it's a fragrance you're, you really already are familiar with and you like. I went, I went for it. <laughs> this is one of the ones that I'm like, yes, I love this. Um, so Killian's Black Phantom was released in the year 2017 and it is considered an amber vanilla fragrance. Now there's a lot of you know, reviews, especially from the females, mentioning this leans way masculine to them. And then we have others saying, no, this is gourmand. This is sticky, sweet, very uh, rich, rich fragrance. I'm in that camp. <laughs> I do think that, yes, it leans masculine to some degree, but it is extremely enjoyable if you love gourmand fragrances. In the notes here, we have dark chocolate, rum, and caramel coffee, sugarcane, almond, sandalwood, and heliotrope. Oh, this is the original right here. All right, so what do I get from the fragrance? I get an initial strong, strong blast of this espresso type smell. I don't get dark chocolate and coffee distinctively. I get the mixture, the blend, which to me, in turn, you know, to my senses or my smell, my olfactories, <laughs> it, it just smells so coffee-like, so espresso-like, very, very rich and gourmand smelling to me. Oh, <laughs> then it gets extreme. It, as if it could not get any sweeter. It gets very sweet to me in the heart of this wear. It gives me very strong whiffs throughout the day. I mean, it. this is one of the fragrances that they have mentioned has been reformulated. Um, but to me, I'm not sure if I have older or newer formulations. I got this set uh, as part of the discovery set from Sephora. So it has to be a newer formulation. Um, so yeah, this is probably not the older, much stronger version, and I can't imagine this getting any stronger. This, this one gives all day long. You get those beautiful, sweet caramel, chocolate, you know, um, not chocolate to me, <laughs> more espresso vibe. Um, uh, but if you get chocolate, then you're going to get a dark, dark chocolate with a little bit of a boozy tone. I don't pick up on a huge boozy tone. A lot of people do. Um, I pick up on a on a on a hint of a boozy tone. Um, you know, not not anything really really strong to me at least. I do throughout the day also get a, a suede component. Like it just it leans into that suede tone where then I get the masculine aspect from it. You know, kind of leathery, kind of suede tone. Not sure what's given that. Um, I there's oh no, I'm not sure what's giving that tone. But I've always picked it up or sensed it from this fragrance, and so I. I think that leads me to believe that that's where people find this leaning masculine um, and that's in the heart of the wear but you still get the beautiful wafts of the supposed chocolate that I that I feel is more espresso like vibe oh my gosh it lasts all day long it is still on my skin oh man it's been it's been at least 10 hours um, that it's been on my skin 
and it is still here <laughs> so it's a very it's light on the skin both sides i have the genre perfumes version on this side and i have the original black phantom over here all right so any differences that i'm detecting in here in the opening of genre's version i do get a lighter air and a less sweet it doesn't attack you with the sweetness as soon as the Killian's original Killian Black Phantom does. I mean, sugary, mm, you know, sweetness. Um, this one has a little bit of a lighter air to it upon opening. I mean, it's it's still there. It's still sweet, but it's less sweet. If Yeah. Oh, for certain. Um, it's, it's even already got that little component that I'm telling you about, the suede note. Oh, this one doesn't. This one is extremely sweet. I mean, this is strong sweet. I can also kind of detect like a little uh, dirty tone to it. You know, like um, like an earthiness. Not sure. <laughs> Just that's what comes at me with the original Killian. Like a little earthiness initially. And I don't get that over here. So eventually, they both line up for me. I They smell like one in the same. I am wearing the exact same fragrance. This one sweetens up in the heart of the wear, and it lines up. Now, um, oh, they both lasted all day long. <laughs> the genre perfume version, toning down already here at the 10th hour mark. This one's still going a little stronger. So um, it is a light... A slightly lighter version but I can see it going I mean it's not gonna come off oh it's on the clothes both sides <laughs> it's not gonna come off of my clothes until I wash it and in fact um, I put on my my coat my jacket to walk the dog it's raining it's cold all that goodness or horribleness <laughs> um, and I can smell it on my jacket like this is gonna be there for a while I feel <laughs> and I don't mind it because it smells beautiful it's very very um, mouth-watering gourmand like for certain that is what I pick up oh yes <laughs> I've always enjoyed this fragrance um there's another fragrance that they say kind of leans in this direction and I do have a side-by-side -side comparison with it and it's by Navitas Perfumes and it is called Serenade and you're more than welcome to check that out. Um, I do feel like this is way sweeter than Serenade and Serenade has a different tone to it. Um, there's this uh, waxy feel that I get from Serenade that I don't get here. I don't get a, a waxy feel at all actually. <laughs> Um, so what would I like to combine this with? Well, you know, you could really pick out those. If, if I wanted it to lean a little more chocolate, I could add chocolate to this. A uh, single note chocolate. I could even do choco musk, which is a light, um, right here. I could do my oil choco musk here prior to applying the fragrance. And that could give me, you know, a slight chocolate, but, uh, more vanilla, uh, but I honestly don't feel like I want to sweeten this up anymore. I just think the composition is so well, so well done that I would more so like to complement my body care to it. For today, I did um, an unscented lotion here by the House of Glory. It's called Ather. Um, you could add whatever you'd like to it, but I just, I didn't add anything. I just, uh, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm going down <laughs> uh, this is my unscented lotion that I've been using at the moment I do like to switch up my unscented lotion brands so that you know I get to experience different things and um, yeah that's what I do with that now house of glory they have a couple of interesting scents that I feel will combine so well with this twice is nice is one of them this one has a um, buttery sugar cookie with shavings of creamy coconut and topped with toasted almond slivers. I would go lightly with this, but I think it would definitely combine well. And then we have Vice. Now this one comes at you strong with that espresso smell, and I think it would complement it nicely. Uh, we have here Turkish coffee, marshmallow goo, tainted by graham cracker crumbs, toasted hazelnuts, blanketed in black chocolate. 
it would just complicate. If you want to amp up this, you know, I know that I said I wouldn't, but I would definitely add a dab or two, you know, just to get the nuance on my skin um, and then probably go in. I would, I would dilute it is what I'm trying to say because I think Black Phantom is already such a potent fragrance. Um, but yeah, I would do that. <laughs> and if you can handle it and you love uh, very rich smelling things, then by all means, go for it. But I do think that those would combine really, really well. Um, now to offset the, um, the really uh, strong uh, smell, I think you could lighten it up with, uh, it already has sandalwood in it. So, uh, excuse me, I didn't prepare. I was just thinking that we could add warm vanilla sugar. I um, It's a vanilla, but it's light. And so, excuse you, I do feel like this would be really nice. Warm vanilla sugar by Bath & Body Works. It'd be a light option. Also, your uh, Bear by Victoria's Secret could go good. This is intoxicating vanilla, white orchid, sparkling sugar, fresh jasmine, and creamy sandalwood. I would do this. Um, to accompany the boozy tone, I could, I would say you could do Bonfire Bash as well, um, which is right here, the, the body care and the body splash, vanilla bourbon, creamy sandalwood, and cashmere musk. However, I feel like this is another one that I would go light with because it's pretty, it's, it's pretty deep on this uh, vanilla and sweetness and it has got a boozy tone to it. I really do love this one as well. Ooh, so many options. So good. Definitely you could amp up that chocolate, I feel. I know I wouldn't mind amping up the chocolate because I get more coffee tone than I do chocolate on my skin. That is how it's treating me. <laughs> well, thank you guys uh, so much for tuning in to this review. That's all I have for today. It is a wonderful cold weather gourmand which is another reason why i absolutely adore dupe houses i could not fathom spending you know close to 300 dollars. i mean if i had the money but spending close to 300 dollars for a bottle that i know is just gonna sit there i mean i've had this for a, what a year already and this is all that that has gone down <laughs> um and i've already done this is my second wear test and i've worn it you know for myself around the house uh, back when it was when it was cold last year as well so i just i don't find me reaching for this a whole lot so um 10 mls and 7.5 mls let's see how far that gets us <laughs> probably pretty far ah very affordable amazing quality these fragrances are turning out to be so close to the original with different little nuances here and there but that's the point of the reviews and why i love to do the head-to-head -head so that i could find out um and let you guys know exactly what they're giving so thank you at least to my nose <laughs> y'all have a blessed rest of your day your night or your evening and you stay safe thanks Bye bye